at work. I hug a man in greeting. In return, he humps me three times. I pinch the back of his neck as if I am squishing the hard shell of a beetle until he lets me go. Laughs. Strong woman, huh? Another day, I offer an idea to a team of men. Eight eyes look away until it is adopted by a baritone. A day before, I stand in the shower until the water goes cold, razor in one hand, scream in the other. On the underground, I watch a woman notice my legs, watch her eyes bulge, watch her unable to blink away. Another evening, walking through a park, a Rottweiler man barks that he enjoys the way my body cannot help but jiggle. My jaw stays clenched all day. Another walk and a preteen boy calls after my smile, asks where it is as if he's earned it. At the bar, I will not laugh at the rape joke. Pretend not to notice eyes roll. In a salon, the beautician cocks her head, says the hair on mine should be longer, more feminine. In bed with a man, he refuses to taste me, says hair on a woman's body is unclean. An hour later, I watch him consume a furry peach whole. Another night, pretzeled in another pub toilet, jamming another door closed with my foot. No one can explain how the lock broke. I stare at the only female bartender. On the news, another man's DNA has been found inside the body of another unconscious girl. A stone-faced reporter airs questions as to how it got there, as if this is the first time, as if none of our lives are connected. And I think of my grandmother, of every groaning soul before and after her. I imagine them all rising as one beneath a full moon. Today, I lock eyes with the woman on the tube. Dare her to say it. I rip a growl from my throat for the man on the street. Dare him to chase it. I snarl, fuck you, at the preteen, at the jokers, at the shame blushing my cheeks. I demand the bar fix its damn door. I tell the lover to leave. I howl at the TV, at my mirrored face, at the moon who does so much, nothing.